So I've got a question for you guys. Have you ever noticed recently that people's attention spans are literally smaller than a goldfish? Like, I mean, I know I have. Even looking at the statistics from my YouTube videos, there's some people that literally just watch for 13 seconds, and it could be because my content's garbage, potentially, who knows. And uh, it's decently likely that it's because they can't sit down and pay attention to a video that's 10 minutes long. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brendan. This is The Lost Tribe, my channel. And I'm here to help men, women, and everyone self-improve, find their way through this crazy thing we call life, and uh, point out the truths in this world. So I would ask the question, why? that's the case with people including myself intention span getting less and less but we all know the answer to it it is literally technology things like tiktok instagram facebook snapchat constant scrolling even youtube i mean youtube shorts the, the constant scrolling is what's getting us and we can't even pay attention to anything it leads to and I've seen it in myself, like I said, I'm not pointing fingers. It leads to a shiny object syndrome. Where it's, and that's pretty much what it is. It's shiny object syndrome, except on the phone. Because you're constantly scrolling new information, bit, boom, 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 boom. If it doesn't fit into a one minute package, most of us don't want it. However, nothing worthwhile in this life fits into a one minute package, realistically anything worthwhile fits it's you got to work work for a long time it's you got to play the long game like if you want to start a business if you want to get rich like i mean yes people hit the lottery but that's a one in 300 million chance have fun with those odds but things take time and my best advice to you and i'm doing the same thing i've decided that I'm doing it and I've been wanting to do this in the new year. I just haven't made the video yet because I haven't stuck with it. And I don't want to be a hypocrite is I'm doing a technology cleanse, limiting my screen time. So pretty much maybe like an hour at most a day. And honestly, I might not even do that much of screen time unless and there's there's going to be a couple caveats or exceptions. One, doing stuff for my YouTube channel. Two, writing my book, my second book. Um, first one's Phoenix and the Flames, by the way, by Brendan Landry. Look it up if you're interested in post-apocalyptic dystopian future kind of novels. It's a really good one, short read. It's available on Amazon in audiobook, ebook, and paperback copy. So, yes. And is at this time I have to tell you, if you like this content, please smash that like button down there. Leave a comment question if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. And subscribe if you want to see more of the Lost Tribe. So my three exceptions are YouTube channel, writing the book, or education. And even then I want to limit because, honestly, myself, I fall down education rabbit holes. And you'd think that is a good thing, and it is. But it could be a bad thing because it's like, oh, I, I wanted to do something today. Next thing you know, I spent three hours on YouTube looking up things that 60 to 70 percent of the time help and even though the other 30 percent are still sort of education it's useless knowledge at least useless as at this moment in time it wasn't something that i was actively looking for so i'm looking to cut my screen time and you should too because realistically what are you what are you missing some stupid fight on uh online any of the the bad messed up news some some guy doing some crazy new trend on tiktok or wherever like you're really not missing anything realistically and it'll improve your brain i want to actually look at physical studies that are done but it's pretty much common sense that it will improve your brain. You'll get a longer attention span. You're not going to be as jumpy and antsy when it comes to achieving your goals. You will be more patient. 
I found it in myself too. Even just what I'm doing today and I go out and yes, I'm filming a YouTube video, but going out and enjoying the outdoors and nature and not looking at my screen and just sitting in silence, especially by myself. You don't have to be by yourself. Although I do want to go into a video later about being okay with being alone, but that's a completely different day. But I like being by myself. I don't have to talk. If I don't want to, it forces me to not talk unless I really want to just talk to other people. And I'll talk to other people sometimes, but like, I get to be quiet, be here with my thoughts, let my brain slow way down, get my meditation in. And it's priceless. It really... It really improves you. And I hope a lot of you that are watching this end up doing what I'm doing. I want to do, at the minimum, a 30-day cleanse. I've already deleted Instagram off my phone. Um, I'm going to keep Snapchat because that's how I get in touch with my family a lot of times. And then, uh, like, Facebook is gone. TikTok I'm going to unfortunately keep, although I'm going to have to... And see if I could put a lock on it because they definitely have things to put locks on it. But if if you don't believe me, your phone can actually tell you a little bit about your screen time, and most people know that. You can literally look on your phone, and it'll tell you how many hours a day you spend on certain apps. And if you average it out and you calculate it out to weeks and months, you could be realizing that you spend. A legitimate week and a half every year just scrolling TikTok or Instagram and between all of them and just doing it all. So it's definitely good to get the cleansing and you realize how much you don't need it. But my best advice to you is to look for yourself on your phone. See how much you are actually using your apps and how much screen time you have because you would honestly be surprised like usually it's a surprising thing when we realize although it's a pretty well known fact that us as humans spend 30% of our lives sleeping imagine you literally so you spend 30% of your life sleeping right and for the majority of your life from at least age minimum age 18 to maximum I mean till the day you pass or like 60 just on average we'll say 60 because it's around the average retirement age for the boomers and gen x um you spend eight hours a week or eight hours a day 40 hours a week working so eight hours of sleeping a day eight hours of working a day so for a good portion of your life you're also spending another 30 percent of your time working which isn't a bad thing inherently but so if you're spending 30 percent of your time sleeping and 30 percent of your time working that's already 66 60 percent of your time you have generously 40 percent of your time which it's it's more like 33 percent realistically so it's it's 33 and 33 then you have another 33 percent of your time free unfortunately a lot of a, a decent amount of that time is spent commuting to work and back so then you have 25 percent of your time don't don't be using the rest of your 25 percent of the time to scroll on social media you're not missing much in my opinion it's a huge waste of time could be outside doing things building businesses there are a lot better things you could be doing instead of scrolling Facebook or Instagram or TikTok because the last thing you want to do is get to the end of your life on your deathbed and I know they say this about other things where oh I should have did this I should have did that I should have you know pushed harder for something or taken that chance and those are those are like 20th century regrets now i i have a big feeling what's going to happen when we get older is there are going to be some people 
that are going to say, I wish I didn't spend so much time scrolling on my phone looking at useless nonsense that at the end of the day didn't matter. And let that sink in. And on that note, the sun's going to go down soon. I do not want to be riding my motorcycle in the dark. The roads are already salty um, a little bit, and I want to get home before it gets dark and it's going to start raining. So if you made it this far, thank you. If you enjoyed the content, please like it. If you want to see more of it, subscribe so it gets hand-delivered to you by the algorithm. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment down below and share this with anyone that you think it would help. I am here to help. That's, that's what the Lost Tribe is all about, is helping people lead a better life. So, once again, my name is Brendan, Lost Tribe. Peace out.